So I've noticed that sometimes when you install Flipgrid into Canvas, the link doesn't show up in the navigation. And that's okay, you can still use Flipgrid within Canvas. So after you've gone through the process of installing Flipgrid from apps, you've used your consumer key and shared secret from your Flipgrid account, if you click save and then it says that it's installed but you don't see Flipgrid as one of these options, here's how you set up that course grid and start using Flipgrid with your students. You'll go to modules and you'll create an assignment. So let's go down here. We're going to click plus a new assignment. Call it Flipgrid introductions. Doesn't matter what you call it, make it specific to you. Add that item, it always sticks it at the bottom. Now when I come into this assignment, this is where the Flipgrid integration really happens. So I'm gonna edit this account, or edit this assignment, here we go. You can add some details here, how to do this, right? And then I come down here and this is where the Flipgrid integration happens. So instead of no submission, this is an external tool. And then I'll click on the find and I'll scroll down alphabetically to Flipgrid. I'll click select. Then I scroll to the bottom and click save. And the very first time that you do this, Flipgrid's gonna want to set up a course grid for this course. So that means that every topic, every assignment you give them where they record a Flipgrid will go underneath this umbrella of this course grid. And it can be a different one if you have multiple courses. You can have you know, a reading and a writing or um, a period one and a period two or a ICP and a physics, right? Like, so you can, you can make this course grid specific to this course. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll go through the setup like they walked you through in the um, PD. I could even record a video telling them, hi, I wanna know what you're reading. Please tell me what you're reading. One thing that it made you think of from the real world and maybe what you think is gonna happen next. All right, so then I... So I'll click next and then I can, this, they'll see this too, they'll be able to add stickers yay and i'm gonna move that so it's not on my eye right and then we take the selfie and then next we'll close the window complete yay so then now that's my topic and you can go through and you can edit all of these topics so a tip topic is under the grid so each grid is for the course and then you'll have little topics and they can all change so every assignment you make will create a new topic under your course grid then um, make sure you go through all of these different options and get it customized just how you like it. Click update topic. Now it's ready. So then I would publish this assignment in my module so that the kids could um, interact with it. And they'll do that all within that assignment piece and then it'll even save it and you can view it in SpeedGrader. It's pretty easy. It just doesn't show up on that navigation, which isn't the end of the world.